Now, let's discuss how to set the dead zone. In other words, the amount of mouse micro movement to ignore. Using the Phantom S's software interface, click on the dead zone icon. A pop up window will then appear for editing the dead zone. You will see that the crosshair is moving slowly to the right. This means you should adjust the boundary value of the x-axis. Move the mouse cursor over the blue dot. Arrows to the right and left will appear. Click the left arrow until the crosshair stops moving. Once it stops moving, it means false movement is being cancelled out by the dead zone. If you prefer, you can also set the crosshair to always be moving slightly. Make sure to set all three axes. Click OK once you have finished setting up the dead zone.